number 13 in FCS this week are the Paladins. Abrams straight ahead, tries to keep his feet, and he's in for the touchdown. Devin Abrams, it's his second rushing score of the year, and Furman in front. Both their third down conversions have come here. Granger flush in the pocket, has room. First down at the five, touchdown Furman. 15-yard run for Darren Granger. And the explosiveness that a freshman should at this level. And here goes another Keyshawn King run. King to the outside. Can he get it to the house? Inside the 15. Got some help from Caleb Smith. Police is back. First and goal. Look at Mitchell, the tight end. Big fella knows where the pylon is. You can throw me the rock or hand me the rock, Roddy. A big stone gap. You can fit all the big stone gap over there in that corner. Scoring plays, all big plays for Virginia Tech. First and goal. Here's Willis, jump ball for Turner. Caught it! Touchdown, Virginia Tech! It's Roddy. The Hokies in front. Ryan Willis told us yesterday with one-on-one -on -one coverage and no safety help, his likes his matchup with the receivers against just about any corner at Vir against Virginia Tech. Granger cuts it loose, looking for Gordon, and intercepted. Caleb Farley. Career game, he played briefly last week in the final stands against Old Dominion. Here's Turner on a little jet, and Trey Turner keeps his feet and will score. Roddy, you don't see the jet into the boundary very much. Blocking down the field, you're able to, you got a talented guy here in the football, you're able to get down and score a touchdown. That foot looks like there is green grass in between that and the sideline, just by a fraction of an inch. Trey Turner able to find his way into the end zone. And the Furman came in here today and threw a couple of haymakers and had a lead at the break and then in the second half, the Hokies had to scramble, make a couple of touchdowns in less than two minutes of the third quarter, and then hold on at the end.